is the review for Venom. Um, sorry about the fan on the computer of rendering Dream a Little Dream. Ah, uh, Dream a Little Dream. <laughs> God. I need my head cutting again. Um, so yeah, this is the start of Venom. Okay, first off I just want to thank uh, Big Dave for lending us it. I've lent Big Dave uh, the Predator. So it's like a like for like swap. Um, I was never big on Venom. Um, I had a Venom figure when I was a kid. Um, and I just totally remember Maximum Carnage as well. Um, was it Maximum Carnage? Spider-Man and Venom role-playing like Streets of Rage. So I wasn't really sure in the back of the story. He's a parasite or whatever. Um, but I was proper hyped when Spider-Man 3 came along. and Spider-Man's good. Green Goblin. I wasn't too sure. I know the second one's a better made film. Um, with Doc Ock in it. I really think they give great just, just, just justified. Need some water apparently. Jump cut. We need a water. Anyway. Um, anyway. We need a water. <laughs> so anyway, I think the second one was a quite well made film, and then the third one came along, and everyone was believing the hype. Sandman's in it, Hobgoblin's in it, and Venom's in it. I think everyone wanted Venom, even like the hints in the trailers of that for Venom. And the, the Sandman should have really been the film. I mean, the, when he wakes up out the sand pit, even though he's just running along a field and falls down a hole, and no one's taking any last minute checks to say about him getting dissolved or whatever, but. The uh, special effects and stuff were absolutely amazing. And then Venom came along, Tobin Grace, you know, and he, it just didn't look like Venom did it. The whole black suit, the marketing and behind it was great. So we've always wanted a Venom film. Now this came along when, again, Marvel and Sony have half split. Spider-Man's now gone off to um, the Avengers universe and came in a civil war. And this exists technically in the universe because it's in association with I don't think they're discounting it for what it was but what it is it's an isolated incident it's a new story it's set in San Francisco Tom Hardy back um, as a superhero obviously being Bane um, a lot of people don't think Tom Hardy should have been cast me included yeah I think you could have cast someone different I mean Tom Hardy is Mad Max and you know I mean he is a hot name to do it and it does make sense it's a massive selling point and for all throughout the film he's really good in it um, but flexibility I think they probably should have got someone else to play him I don't know off the top of my head who I've had a think about this but I haven't it's probably why but no special effects when the, the van got tripped over at the start um, I thought the special effects on that were shit I really did I see that looks so bad when the, the, the van flips over. But the Venom costumes, um, all the practical stunts combined with it, I thought were flawless once it gets going. It's great to see San Francisco um, used within the film. Although the chase scene just reminds you of The Rock and then all the other scenes, it was either a combination of Sleepless in, not Sleepless in Seattle. Um, you've got mail. You've got mail. Not, you, you've got mail in New York one. It's um, in a space, and Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm sure Mrs. Doubtfire, because the house is on the hill like that. And you know what else? Even though it's not, a, well, it is a real movie. Um, Inside Out. That was filmed in San Francisco. Well, animated in San Francisco. Okay, so. Disney nerd. But no, um, a standalone story. It was all right. I thought it did. I mean, one of the things when it starts, you know, the parasite comes down. Then all of a sudden, it's six months later, and you think, did that fucking woman just walk around for six months? <laughs> I mean, you totally forget about the old woman who comes off the oh, aeroplane. Oh, shit! And it come, you don't expect it to jump six aye. months ahead. Aye, I remember. Aye! That woman. So, yeah, that woman. So that was one thing about it. Um, the action was all right. It was a bit confusing about who the bad guy was. Um, mayhem, I think someone said he might be called, but it was a case of, like, right, spoiler alert, why leave Carnage to the end? I mean, Woody Harrison does look quite creepy in that end credits, but then talking about the end credits, that cut scene happens, then all of a sudden, about five minutes there, Spider-Verse has this massive cut scene, it's almost like someone rendered Venom with Spider-Verse cutting the end credits. That was weird, I was so confused. 
I do like the stunt over the hill when he gets attached to the bike and you know even like where everyone's like oh yeah the bits with the bike I was like well that's Spawn when Spawn's cape came around and stuff like that so the film didn't really have anything fresh it felt like a very safe movie Venom's name Tom Hardy's in it it's isolated it doesn't have to make sense to anything going on with the Marvel Universe you know because this is one of the characters now that's in Sony's hands and you know the story was just uh, there was like no revelations about the story and stuff like that as well it kind of just was over as well I was like is that it? <laughs> yeah he creeps into the players quite creepily I mean he, he just happens to be the one it affects and stuff like that you know what was quite comical though you know when he's just like talking and whatnot. he says I've got a parasite in me and then the voice goes parasite the voice, apologise the voice is quite good it's good that Tom Hardy's done both ways and stuff like that but again it's a kind of like would it work better with a different actor or could that have been a bit more comedic I mean I don't know it just seemed although it was isolated it was very fast paced I think so yeah right I'm sorry I haven't gone much into it it does look amazing except for the van scene at the start it does feel fast tracked I am getting my head cut with a Bix so every time I think of an idea it don't say me I'm like venom like screaming on I haven't drawn blood yet though which mm. is good but I do think there was a better talent of Venom than Spider-Man 3. I just thought Venom could have been held off and brought into the Spider-Man universe or something like that. He's definitely got to be brought into the next video game they bring out, so I'll see you in the outtakes. This bit. Ooh, careful there. This wing here. What? This wing. wing. Ah! Ah! Will you stop it? Ah! <laughs> you cut me. I didn't ah. cut you at all. You f- What? What the fuck are you doing? What's the matter? <laughs> You're such a hash you. You've cut us? I haven't cut you at all. You've cut us? I haven't cut you at all. Where have you cut us? I haven't cut you. Stop using special effects for the empty. <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I'm so potty mouthed when it comes to this guy. I, I can't believe you just turned your head while I was shaving your head. Wow. Ah! Definitely personally after this. No, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.